Guys talk about is girls and cash these times they ain't even got none It ain't hard to see when I step in the dance to the party's lit and it gets done Turn up the music and we jump in, all the people around just jump in Turn up the music and we jump in, all the people around just jump in Bounce some vibe, get the drink and we dance all night Vibe and bounce, get the drink and the girl on the couch Bounce some vibe, get the drink and we dance all night Vibe and bounce, get the drink and the girl on the couch so with me and bro come just like Blas and Bino When I need therapy I chat to the man upstairs I don't need chemo I was never froze like an emo I stay on my deans Man sometimes when I leave the city I feel just like a king Got family and I got my team The love never goes on show not seen First off, tell us your name and where you're from Young J, I'm from Brom, Hansworth Sick, sick So, Brom, Hansworth What was it like growing up there? It was nice It was nice I grew up with both parents so Hansworth is like a rough area, but obviously they just kept me out of it. And I just, you know, yeah, just kept it, just kept it simple, kept it calm. And it, that's interesting, you yeah. um, touching having both parents. You think that's an important thing when it comes to it? Yeah, it is. It is, because I could be doing any, like Hansworth, you can get lost in that place, isn't it? You can really get lost. Like people my age, you know, they're just they're either still on the roads or in jail. So yeah, they definitely play good roles. I can't lie. Okay, okay. So what would you say first got you into music? Or... My mum used to do music when she was younger and it's sort of always, always been around me as a little kid, you know, a young one running around. I've just, I've just always been interested in it, you know, like, from, just from time. I just always remember, like, I was always writing, just writing down bars, like, nothing else. Was always rap, like, no singing, no, none of that, just, just bars strictly. So, yeah, man, it's been around me. Okay, like okay, so you've always ripped bars, so what, what would you say that genre was? Would it be like hip-hop, grime, like, yeah. what would it be? When I was a bit young, it was a bit corny, like it was like American style. I wasn't really listening to like UK rappers, like Eminem or like 50 Cent, like, you know, trying to do like the American accent on that thing, but obviously now we're here and I'm obviously embracing the UK and keeping it original. But yeah, man, just like all the American rappers, I'll be so honest, 50 Cent, Dr. Dre, Eminem, you name it from that era. Okay. So, yeah. So that was that era now, but you're saying you're repping the UK now. So who would you say are influencing you at the moment? I do like Digger, I'll be honest. I like Sench as well. I like Digger, I like Sench, I like Unknown T, I like K Trap. What else is really big for me? I like Oz and I like Clavish as well. Out of the new generation, I like Clavish probably the most in Oz mm. and JB. Yeah. Is there anything in particular? you think that draws you to their style more than anything else or? Yeah, because it's like, it's like melodic drill. So it's still, back in the day, drill used to be like, they're like hardcore, you know, like dark beats, but they do like the more like melodic beats. You can still vibe on it, still like listen to the bars or whatnot, but you know, it's more like listenable, more like, I love the tempo. I just, yeah, oh. I like it still. Okay, okay. I just want to quickly bring it back. So you said your mom did music as well. Yeah. What genre did she do? She was like more like, she was more like R and B, like soul. Okay. She was in like a um, she's like a backup singer, like okay. one of those groups. So yeah, yeah, of sick, course, sick, yeah. She was sick. killing it, man. So you know, like R and B soul, always singing mm. around the house. You know, just always showing me her tapes when she's older. Just yeah, man. So what does she think about you doing the genre you're doing now? Have yeah, she loves it. Yeah, she loves it, man. She always supports it. She's just yeah, she's just there for me, man. I guess it's because you know she wanted to do music as well, but kids came along, the life mm. came along. So, you know, if I'm doing music, she can only like, you know, see myself in her and just living it up. I guess, yeah. Sick, sick. What would you say your creative process is like? I like to write before I get into the studio. I don't like to be in the studio and have a producer waiting or looking at me like, you know, what are you doing here? Like, I always have everything written, written out, planned. If it's not to the same beat, I've always got someone else written out off the top. Yeah, man, I'm always prepared forever. I think you've described your top five artists in the moment. Yeah. Is there anyone else we wouldn't expect you to be listening to? Yeah, 100%. Michael Jackson. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Least expect. Adele. I like Adele. Rihanna. 